Hello everyone, my name is Rob, welcome to Kinetic Rugby League. In this video we're going to be discussing the Italy Rugby League World Cup squad that has recently been announced. Let's take a look. The Italy squad is as follows. Giordano Arena, Daniel Atkinson, Simone Boscolo, Nathan Brown, Jack Campagnolo, Gioli Cellarino, Jack Colavati, Luke Hodge, Anzon Iaria, Ryan King, Richard Lapori, Jake Mason, Luca Moretti, Ethan Natoli, Ippolito Occhialini, Ronaldo Palumbo, Dean Parata, Kyle Pickering, Luke Policelli, Alex Rogiato, Brendan Santi, Alex Asino, Nicholas Tilburg, and Joey Tramontana. So the first thing I noticed about the initial squad selection was that there were 25 names. If you look at the official Rugby League World Cup website, under the Italy section, only 24 are listed. Cooper Johns is the only player that is not um, listed. And he's still in Australia. If you look at his Instagram, he's still in Australia. So he won't be playing at this World Cup. But uh, apparently Paul Vaughan was also eligible for selection, which I didn't know. And James Tedesco played at the last World Cup, but he's now playing for Australia, which doesn't, doesn't feel right to me. Does not feel right. But there's a whole new list of players. Players which I don't know anything about. I'm completely clueless to these players. The one player that has stood out in terms of um, articles that I've looked at is Nathan Brown. So I'll talk about him. And I've picked two other players at random. One that plays in Australia, one that plays in England. So we'll talk about those guys now. So the first player to talk about is Nathan Brown, the captain. Um, I've watched plenty of Parramatta Eels games this season. And not once did I clock on to the fact that he was part of this team. That's probably more on me, you know, taking note of other players. But I didn't realise how involved Nathan Brown was in the Eels. It just completely went over my head. So, unfortunately, I, I can't speak too much on his qualities. Uh, but we'll look at some of the stats here in terms of the season and him as a as a player. So this season he's had 14 appearances, he's had one try, but he's a forward, so you know no big deal. Um, 104 average uh, run meters in his career. Um, he's had 138 career appearances, and he's 29 years old. So he's a, an old enough and experienced enough player. Um, going into this World Cup and I believe the most experience in terms of um, level that he's played at compared to years played, games played, the most experienced player. Um, this season he started in eight games and he's played about 48 minutes per game. So there was also a clip posted on Italy's Instagram page that just talked or that showed him talking to the team, telling people to be uh, calm and composed but bring a lot of energy and just enjoy the tournament. Um, and certainly as the captain and given the level of experience he's got as a player, definitely has the authority and the experience to speak uh, to these guys. Uh, I imagine there's going to be a lot of young players in this squad that I certainly don't know about. There'll be players with experience, of course, but at his level, he's going to be, I think, the peak player in terms of everything uh, for this team. So hopefully, he can galvanise the squad, get them all on song, and uh, we'll see how, how well he can do as captain. Now I come on to the first of the players that I've researched or found out about for the first time, and that is Daniel Atkinson. Now, from what I found out about him, he is a halfback who currently plays for the Sunshine Coast Falcons, which is a team affiliated with the Melbourne Storm. They finished second this season. They're about two points off um, the Burley Bears in the regular season, and they lost uh, in the semi-final of the playoffs. Uh, him as a player, Daniel Atkinson, he is 21 years of age. This season he's had 22 appearances, 3 tries, 7 goals and 9 assists. Um, on average about 157 kick meters per game. So um, from what I can tell he is going to be involved mostly in the kicking game um, for this Italy side. Um, unfortunately I haven't been able to find too many clips on him playing. Um, but um, I guess since I don't know much about him he's one of these players that will hopefully show me what he's capable of uh, come this tournament. So, unfortunately, I don't have too much to say on them, but I just want to highlight some of the players that are part of this squad. And uh, Daniel Atkinson is one of them who is most likely going to be the number seven in the Italy spine. Moving on to the final player, who I've seen mentioned multiple times as one of the better players in the championship, or at least one of the better hookers in the championship, is Dean Parata. Now... I'd never heard of him, I'd never seen him play, or I don't think I have anyway, but in terms of the information I could find out about him, um, he's 31 years of age, 
He was a shadow player in the last World Cup for Greece, so he was, I believe that means um, you would be called up in case of sickness or injury, anything like that. Um, he's played at the championship level for a good few years now, since about 2018 and onwards. Um, he's had consistent game time. Um, so looking at these stats, in terms of the tries he's had, um, in 2018 he had five tries in 30 games for the Barrow Raiders. Um, for Toulouse he had seven tries in 27 games. For Featherstone Rovers he had 13 tries in 25 games. And currently for the London Broncos he's played 28 games and scored 10 tries. So he knows how to find the line. Uh, which gives me the impression that he is a, a ball running hooker. He doesn't like to just pass it off uh, from play the ball. He likes to run at people. Um, and as I said before was mentioned as one of the more exciting, more dangerous and better hookers in the championship. And the championship, as I've mentioned in other videos, is not a level that's so far off Super League and the NRL that they can't compete. So, unfortunately, there's not too much for me to dive into on their abilities, but I just wanted to highlight a couple of players uh, for this squad since I'm very uneducated. So, with all that being said, anybody that watches this video that is well aware of the players that have been selected for the Italy squad, please let me know about players that I should look out for. Please educate me on anybody that I've missed um, because I do want to learn. I would like to learn from you guys more than the research because I want your opinions on things and then we can go back and forth in the comments. But that is, uh, that's a wrap up of a good handful of players when it comes to the Italy squad. So that's going to be it for this video. If you have any thoughts on the Italy squad, leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with new content. You can also follow the social media accounts in the description down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.